close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Sort of air out things in the body. And then let the breath find a rhythm that feels good. If long breathing feels good, you can keep that up, but you can change. This is where you get to choose what you like. The Buddha compared meditating to being a cook. The cook has to figure out what his master likes and then provide a lot of that. And Sometimes the master won't say anything directly, but it has ways of showing. The same way with the mind. If the mind doesn't want to stay with the breath, you've got two things you've got to look after. One is the breath and the other is the mind. First look after the breath. Change the breath in different ways. See what kind of breathing feels good right now. If the body's tired, what kind of breathing can give you energy? What kind of breathing can calm you down if you're feeling tense or wired? And if that doesn't work, then turn around and look at the mind. What's the mind going for right now? Does it have an issue that it's carrying in from the day? Sometimes you have to think that through first before you're going to be willing to put it down. If you're angry at somebody for having done something, you have to remind yourself that carrying the anger around doesn't help anything. And that under the power of anger, you tend to do a lot of stupid things. Do you want to act stupidly and harm your own interests just because you're upset with somebody? That's not good. In other words, find reasons for putting the anger aside. Take the longer view. In a little bit of time, the issue is going to seem so small that you're going to wonder why you got worked up about it. So why get worked up about it now? Look at it as small now. That way the mind can put it down. And then when you've worked through the issues of the mind, then you can come back to the breath and fix the breath in a way that the mind likes to feed on it. So this is a good cook, fixing the right food, preparing the right surroundings for the person who's eating. In other words, thinking in ways that make it, that make the mind more and more inclined to want to settle down. And that way the mind can feed happily off the concentration. Because this is much better food than the other food that the mind takes. It runs after sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations doing all kinds of things in order to get the sights and sounds and whatever it wants, but then those things just slip through its fingers. And what are you left with? You're left with the karma, the memory of having done something really bad, or something unskillful, or something that you're not really proud of. And that's just part of the karma. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? If it's not, then why bother? Give the mind better food here, the food of concentration. There's nothing that you ever regret about getting the mind settled down. That way it's good before you do it. In other words, thinking about doing, you feel good while you do it, feels good. And when you've done it, you feel good about having done it. That's the kind of happiness you want, the happiness that you don't regret. Meditation is one of the ways you find it, together with virtue and generosity. These are three big ways the Buddha said, if you want to find happiness, this is how it's done. The happiness that's good before, during, and after. Happiness like that is hard to find in the world, but here it is. So make the most of it. <laughs>